that yellow god forever gaze as dull. He was known as Mad Carew by the sons of Kathmandu. He was hotter than they felt inclined to tell. But for all his foolish pranks, he was worshipped in the ranks. And the colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. He loved her from the start. That she knew it in her heart. The fact that she loved him was plain to all. She was nearly 21, and arrangements had begun to celebrate her birthday with a ball. She wrote to ask what present she would like from Mad Carew. They met next day as he dismissed the squad, and jestingly she told him, nothing else on earth would do but the green eye of the little yellow god. On the night before the dance, Mad Carew seemed in a trance as they chopped him, as they puffed at their cigars. But for once, he failed to smile, and then he sat alone a while. Then he went out into the night beneath the stars. He returned before the dawn with his shirt and tunic torn, and a gash across his temple dripping red. He was patched up right away, and then he left all through the day, and the colonel's daughter watched beside his bed. She woke at last and asked if she would send the his tunic through. She brought it, and she thanked her with a nod. Then, feeling in the pocket, said, That's from Mad Carew, and he handed her the green eye of the god. She upbraided poor Carew in the way that women do, though both her eyes were strangely hot and wet. But she wouldn't take the stone, and Carew was left alone.